All right, let's jump straight into modeling. But before we start with the sketch, we need a guide. And the guide will be an iPhone iPhone 15 Pro 3D model. I can get I got my own from grabcard.com. grabcard.com. And this is the website where I got mine. You just have to type in the model what you are looking for. What for me is iPhone 15. And we have this lovely iPhone 15 Pro by Travis, I don't know, Travis Lado, I guess. You can come here and um, download it. This is where you can download the files. And make sure whenever you're downloading anything that you want to have in Fusion 360, make sure it is a step file because any other file you will have issues with it when you add you know want to maybe edit it make changes to the model or it just makes your scene heavier because with other files they have these um vertices edges they have polygons which might make your scene a little bit heavy so if you are working with a laptop that is not all too strong it's going to be slow it's going to make your computer slow while you work in it and another problem is that sometimes you just can't do anything with it unless you convert it to mesh and also that is like a huge huge um, process which will also can slow down your computer or might even seize it might crash your your computer depending on how heavy the mesh is but with step file they are easily manageable all right so how you can I've already downloaded this model and I have it in my local file already. So how you can um, import this model to Fusion 360 is you just go to File, Open and then you select from where you saved the file. So this is where I saved it, iPhone 15 Pro and I just open it in my workspace. The next thing I will want to do is make sure this is in the middle. For that, I'll be using the joint because when you select the origin, you see that it's not centered in. It's actually in the right hand side of the of the space. So what you want to do now is, but before we can use this joint command, we have to turn this body into a new component. So create component from body and then you have this in the component. So now you can actually come here, select the middle of this phone and then also select the middle of the origin. And then now you have it, it's centered in and um, you can easily start to make your sketch without making too much of a estimation where you want your sketches to fall. All right, so now I would like to create a new component for, for my case, for my iPhone case. So this is, an, this is, this component one is for my, is for the guide mesh. And then this component two is for my case you can go ahead and name it so as not to get confused and then case so now i can actually start sketching so we just come here select sketch we start sketching from the bottom of the plane then i will like to project these lines here so that I can use those projected lines to sweep across to also cover this whole part of the mesh. It's um, the fastest process to achieving a case 
um, then you come here to projects not the face just just the lines all right then you see that this lines has been projected already then you come to your offset tool give it a little bit of space so that you can easily fit in your phone inside the case um, let's give me this 0.25 okay and then you use your line to to create the thickness of the case um, right now i'm not using any measurement i'll use the dimension tool to make my measure measurements but for now i'm just eyeballing it so now that you have this you can use your dimension tool to actually give it some thickness some precise thickness make it thick All right so this thickness is too much for a case so i'll say 0 0.6 0 0.6 is decent for, an, for a case then point six also here then also from the distance of this part to this space is, should also be point six so now that you have this you can sweep this you can you can start with your sweep operation but uh, i still want to add some some design to it so by by adding some chanfa make it a little bit of an make a little bit of interesting design with this, this is 0.65 i'm so also going to change this to 0.65 using my dimension tool yes trade driven okay um it's not working so i have to just go back and from the beginning i'll have to make some i have to make a precise where is the chamfer from the beginning i just have to apply a, a precise measurement so 0.65 oh, 0.65 right so also here again i'll make it go to chamfer i'll make it 0.65 okay now we have this so finish sketch now is the time i'll start with the sweep so I come here, I select on the sweep operation, select the face I want to sweep, and then the path. The path means which line it will follow. Then I'm going to select this. Now you can see it's actually following the lines that I'm selecting all the way to the top. Then it's closed now. And now we keep it at new body. Now I have a base of my iPhone case. Now you can see this is quite decent. So what I want to do now is um, cover the back because we don't want to leave the back open. So I'll come to create, um, create offset plane select this plane this button i want to offset then bring it back then use this face to uh, make the alignment and have it at the right um surface okay so now i'll create a sketch again create sketch because i want this 
um, to be caught for the camera to create a space for the cut for where you can have your camera um, pop out I'm going to use all the projection tool again so P for projection then select the whole face and it's going to make something like this for me and then let's just have it and then press pull project this to this side this is too much this is too much I'm just going to have it at this where it's Let's see. Okay, too much again. I think the thickness was 0.65, so let's have it at 0.65 and then okay. So yeah, we have the we have the back of, of this now so the next thing to do is start creating the holes for the us um, let me off this so that i can see i want to create the hole for the space for the usb type c and then also for the speakers and then also for this part and this part i'll be making an extrusion actually so let's Go ahead. Let's start with the bottom. Okay, that is for the USB. I want to start with the USB part. Then, um, I'll, 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 I'm going to be hiding this body so it doesn't um, interrupt me as I want because I want to select this, and then you can see already I have this my projection tool. These projection tools they serve as like um, the construction line you can that's what I want to use it now for like the construction line like a, a guideline to create um, a space a whole cut like this I don't want the cuts to be circular I don't want each of the cuts to be circular I want it to create a whole cut like this so I'll be using the slot tool for that so i'm going to be using the overall slot too i'll use this detect the middle this is the middle then bring it here then also the middle bring it here okay mm -hmm. i'll do the same thing for this part come Slot to overall slot. I'll start from the middle. Then I'll take it here. Then bring it out. Okay. As for this part, I'll just use the projection tool to create a little bit of space for the charger. Mm -hmm. Then I will have to hide this so that I can easily select these faces. So now I'll use the press pull operation, but first let me hide the body. Press pull. Press pull. I want to leave it at as a cut operation. Then I have my cut here. Then the next thing to do is create the next cut here. Then I'll select on this plane. Hide the body, unhide this, project this, then T for projection, project this 
part of the bottom. Um, okay, I'm also going to offset this, give it a little bit of space. Okay, 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 I have tried this, it's, it's breaking my view. hide the body then press pull all right when we have this code already we are almost done with our case and then bring back this since i want this to be an extruded um, bump i'm going to create the sketch on this surface of the body so I'll just create select this face create or actually I'll start no just leave it like this yep then um, let me hide this again so I can press P select this face and we have this already and then i'm going to project i'm going to offset this um, left give it a little bit of space 4.1 to a 0.1 to Okay, then also select this control V to put in the same um, measurement as the other, then control V again. Then I can select this, this, this face, select this other face again, select this space and like this space then i'm going to extrude it a little bit not too much not too much just a little bit of bump to indicate that you can actually press on it then leave it at joint operation and yeah we already have our iphone case as you can see everything is complete so now it all that matters is if you do want to add some of um, some variations make your own variation of the design you can decide to um make some more extrusion use the pattern to make some nice pattern on this surface or i don't know anything that you want to do but um this is the iphone case congratulations if you made it to the final video and um yeah you can print this out if you have a 3d printer or have a friend or have a business close to you that does 3d printing give them this case and you have your own custom um case made by you thank you for watching the video um see you next time